oh, oh, dude, I'm coming, I'm coming. Oh God, oh God, oh goodness. We're ripping a time lapse and Jared's fly fishing, he just hooked up with a good one. No, oh. There it was. Oh, that looks nice, bro. Yeah, dude, not bad. Oh, oh my God. Mmm, <whistles> wow. What a intro. <laughs> well, you're not slamming. What's going on guys? Welcome back to another one. Today starts a very special day. Myself and Miss Lindsay right here, we're actually starting a little series here for you guys that I want to call the Tana Tour. That's right, me and Lindsay were packing up, we left the Midwest and we are currently heading all the way to Missoula, Montana to meet up with the OnX people and do a little bit of fishing with them. As you guys know, they're a huge sponsor of this channel and like to support us. So if you guys wanna check out any of their stuff, I'll leave it linked down below. This whole series is actually gonna be brought to you by OnX. So I'll let themselves introduce themselves. So I'm not gonna get too far ahead of myself, but right now we are on where are we? We are on the Missouri River in South Dakota. We still have a long ways away. Already drove two and a half hours. We're gonna try to drive another like three-ish hours and make it to Rapid City, South Dakota. Where we're gonna spend the night at Lindsay's grandparents. And then tomorrow morning, we're gonna wake up super early and make the drive from Rapid City all the way to Missoula, Montana, where our destination is. And we're gonna meet up with the Onyx guys, do some camping and fly fishing. Yeah, fly fishing. Sam's a big fly fishing guy, but he had other stuff to do. So I'm like, hey, let's, let's bring this chump right here. So, you know, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm second best. Yeah, you are second best. I want these videos to be a little bit different than the normal videos on the channel. So be expecting maybe a little bit longer videos. Definitely a change of pace. That's why the whole reason of us going over here is to get away from the norm of our videos and try to create new content. So you guys are gonna stay tuned for this series because it's gonna be awesome. Well, um, yeah, I'm sorry folks. I did not pick up the camera at all last night. We got on the road as you guys saw and we just took off and now we are in, well, we're technically, we're in Sturgis, South Dakota. Oh yeah, as you can see, giving a dangle, filling the old taco up with some, oh, look at that timing. What's the vibe right now? How's the vibe the so far? The vibe is... I'm excited for the views, but I need some coffee. She, she needs some coffee. It's the next morning and we're, we're tired. We're just- A little bit. Like, look at that. She looks tired. Oh, that's mean. Yeah, no, you look pretty though. Okay, thanks. But yeah, as, as you guys can see, it's just like so much go, 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 go. And like, we just, the, with everything going on yesterday and how tired we were, did not pick up the camera. I am sorry, but the rest of the day, I promise, I'll pick up the camera a little more because the views are only gonna get better. As you can see right there, like there's already, we're in the Black Hills and it's, it's beautiful, but I'm ready for Montana. I'm a little scared right now. <laughs> I can't believe he's letting me drive the taco. But I am sitting here doing a little bit of editing and we just passed, where did we just pass? We just passed Billings and man, the scenery is starting to change drastically. I've been seeing some beautiful rivers and streams and I mean obviously mountains with snow on it like that just blowing my mind. It's a lot different than South Dakota I'll tell you that right now but I'm liking this a lot. Again doing some work right now we have three hours and 50 minutes still until we make it to Missoula. Just gotta keep trucking. Well, uh, 15 hours later we finally made it to the beautiful state of Montana. We are in Missoula and we're at a special person's house. Oh, oh, oh look at this on, guy. Brother? How are you, dude? How's Good to going? meet you. This is Jared, everybody. This is What's my up, contact at Onyx. He's just a beauty. Like, look at the look at the locks. Oh man, the flowage is just growing them out. Right out. I love it. I'm gonna be spending the next couple days with you doing some floating, camping, fishing, fly fishing in particular, and he's just gonna show us the way. Yeah, I think we got a, a pretty good plan cooked up. Um, we're actually going to quite a few pieces of water I've never been to. Just found them on Onyx uh, using the map. We're uh, gonna go in there, give you a little tour of the tour that we're gonna take around Western Montana, save a few maps, and we're gonna hit the road. Oh man, uh, I'm assuming you shot that one, huh? Yeah. Every, everything in here or? Everything but the moose. Oh, okay, okay. The moose, the moose was a found deadhead. Damn, that is sick, dude. Yeah, okay. I mean, this found this elk hunting the other year, which is a pretty rare find. Uh, I mean, there's definitely moose in Montana, but for most of the state, you're looking at at least like a dozen years of applying before you draw a tag. Gotcha. I had no clue they were here, honestly. 
Yeah. I mean, I knew elk were. I didn't really know that this like moose were here. That's crazy. All right. Well, give me give me the rundown of what yeah. we're gonna be doing uh, this this next few days. I guess. So, just so people know. Yeah, kind of how I made this plan is I was just talking to John and Sam, trying to figure out what they wanted to do, and they told me that they wanted to do a combination of like floating a river in a raft, doing some wet wading, some car camping, and just seeing some different pieces of water. So we're actually going to a bunch of spots that I haven't spent much time in. So I just pulled up Onyx here on our web map and uh, started poking around. So as you can see, we're in Western Montana here. Here's Missoula. We're gonna head up north into the Flathead region, do some camping in the missions. We're gonna float the Flathead tomorrow, hopefully find some cutthroats in there. And then we're gonna hit a smaller stream uh, a little bit west of Kalispell on Thursday, do some wet wading, car camping, and see if we can find some fish. So basically, we're, we're just giving a full send, and both of us, I know, I know like zero, zero, okay? Jared knows a, like a lot more, but he was making it sound like the places that we're going, he doesn't know that much about it. So that's why having Onyx and utilizing all the key features is something that you know you guys at home should definitely be doing to take most advantage of your trips. Another big thing is we are gonna be off the grid the next like two, three days-ish. Like we're gonna have zero cell phone service. So that is why Onyx is super handy and it offers a feature where you can save maps before you go and you can use it offline without any service. All right, so now that you guys kind of know the mission for the next couple of days we're gonna pack this up we got to get going because we are indeed doing a little bit of camping tonight and we still gotta go to the store get some flies ice food like all that good stuff so you guys just sit back relax and enjoy the vlog Alrighty folks, we are on the road and we're actually pulling up to our campsite where we're gonna be spending tonight and then tomorrow we're doing some fishing. But tonight just kind of laid back, doing some camping and, and just hanging out. We just got done shopping for food. That was a whole ordeal, we, that took a while. We're not playing as you guys can tell. And we also stopped at a pretty cool little local fly shop. It actually, it was just like a sporting goods shop. Basically there we picked up some, some spinners for like spinning rods and stuff like that. Jared is dialed on the fly. He's also fly, okay, I'm with Fly God. Fly God chose out some flies that we're gonna be throwing for some, I don't even know, cutthroats. Picked up a license, picked up some flies, we're good to go. I'm getting antsy to get in the water, but I'm even more antsy to start setting up my, my rooftop tent. I, I actually took it off a little bit ago, if you guys noticed. Haven't put it back on in a while, so it's gonna be interesting to see if I remember how to do this. Folks at home, folks at home. It's uh, it's been we've overcame some adversity. We actually checked out two campgrounds, all full. Believe it or not, on a freaking Tuesday, it was all full. So we uh, made the executive decision to do a little lakeside camping. As you guys can see, looking absolutely beautiful out here. We got a porta potty here. We got just good vibes, and no one else is here. Like as you can see. No one else here. We're gonna be chilling. So, um, I think what I'm gonna do right now is I'm going to set up my CBT tent. Jared might go toss the fly around and just kind of set up camp. So right now, I'm, the sun's going on. I just wanna get this going so you guys at home can watch, uh, you know, video wise. So we're gonna set this up and I'll give you guys an update in just a second. Yeah, I'm interested to see how that thing sets up. All right, well, bring this in case something good happens. Just, just screw, screw my name or something. Woo! Look at that, that still looks sick. Oh, that was quick. You like that? No way! No, oh, I'm coming, dude, I'm coming, I'm coming. Oh God, oh God, oh goodness. We're ripping a time lapse, and Jared's fly fishing, he just hooked up with a good one. Woo. Dude, no way. Do you, do you need like me to net it, or? Uh, eventually, but he's out there pretty good right now. Wait, what, what do you have on, bro? Uh, well, I'm fishing a, dra a green drake, but I think, uh, I think it's a rainbow, but... No, oh! There it was! Oh, that looks nice, bro! Yeah, dude, not bad! Oh, oh my god! 
Okay, maybe I should stop setting up tents and yeah, you start should rig fishing. up. Baby. Good God. That's that's dirty, dude. Oh, that's... that is not gonna lie. That's pretty dope. <laughs> I'm pre I'm pretty hyped myself. Oh, one just ate right there. Like he was down here for like literally three minutes, maybe. Yeah. Maybe three minutes max. He's like yelling at me. Hey, I got a good one. So I, guys, stop doing what I was doing. Came over here. I'm gonna watch this man's catch like a 18, 19 inch rainbow or whatever it is. It's definitely a pretty good little trout ski. Yeah, so I just saw him eating out there, you know, coming up to the surface eating, and I literally just threw a fly into the direction I thought he was heading and came up and slurped it. What are you, what are you like using right now? Uh, so right now I got a pretty cheap, just five weight rod. It's an echo base. I love it. Casts really well. Uh, retails 90 bucks. So easy way to get in. And then I got a Sage click reel, which is not really what I should be using on this rod, but it's what I had rigged up to throw a dry. So I threw it on. What is that bro? Oh, it's a rainbow. I think that's a bow. I'm wondering if I got him file hooked though. Just by the way. Yeah, he kind of, or he was, yeah. He's, he's no. wrapped or something. Oh, that is a nice that one though. A, oh, oh my God. He is. He does oh, I'm like nervous. He is hooked. Definitely nervous right now. Oh, you're good, bro. No, we're not pooching it, bro. This is, we haven't even, we haven't set the tent up and this is already happening. Like, what? All right, here it comes. Nope. Nope. Dude, I don't know if that's going to fit in this net, Oh yeah, Jared. it will. She's got a deep bag. I got scared, Dad. I got scared. I got scared. I appreciate that. Oh, baby. It, he just doesn't want to give up. No and like the thing is, when you when you net fish, you don't want to do it too early, and you don't want to reel in fish too fast either. Like we're we're trying to play as cautious as possible. Get him on this one. You yep. ready? Yep. Oh no! That I'm getting drenched out here, dude. <laughs> dude. That net is definitely on the small side. Dude, this, this is no, it's big, dude. Yeah, I'm dude. telling you. This is a good fish. Dude, he is just fighting so hard. And this yeah. water is so clear. Dude, I'm telling you, this thing is not gonna fit in here. He just is really floppy. You're also scared. Like every time. Yeah, he's definitely hooked in the like food. Let's go! Dude. Oh my gosh. Dude, that's oh a my. sweet fish. That is a that sweet is fish. That is a freaking huge cutthroat, dude. That's a cutthroat? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Oh man. All right, are you ready? I don't um, know that I can one hand this yeah, thing. Yeah, let me just. Oh wow. I can't. So this, one. Is, a, this is a cutthroat? It looks like a cutthroat, yep. Gotcha. Okay. I'll show you. The cutthroat comes from this, that red, that orange underneath their gill plate. Mm hmm. You know, that's why they're called a cutthroat there. But, all right, you ready? Yep. Oh man, that is what a, a beautiful, beautiful fish. fish. Good job. Well, there he goes, dude. Are you kidding Let's me? Let's go, the trip, oh, the trip just I'm started, it. bro. Like, that was sick. boys, I'm drenched right now. <laughs> I don't know if you're looking at me. I am just so wet right now. Oh my. This man's is the Van Dam of fly fishing, dude, I swear. Right here, so. Oh my. What are we, yeah, what's the going old, on? The old green drake bent the hook. Yeah, he's gonna need a little bit of work to be recommissioned. Guys, if, if this is already happening and we just started, like we're literally, this is night one at a random like boat ramp. <sighs> That's insane. And like, look, look at the scenery, look at the scenery, look at everything. Water, crystal clear. You do not see this that much where I'm from, like at all. Like this is blowing my mind looking down there. I mean, dude, I can see so much. This is nuts. I am, I'm gonna finish actually setting up my tent because that needs to happen. But part of me is, my, my fishing heart is telling me, dude, get out here and, and cast the line. But I, I think I think the smart thing to do here is to get set up and then see if I have time to come back out here. But stay tuned.
more trout, Dad? You know, no more trout, man. Uh, saw saw a few nibbling, but not nibbling what mm. I had for them. Well, that's all right. What do you what do you think of the new rig, dude? I I you, I need your impressions the, of this. Yeah, dude, the CVT is pretty impressive. Um, I mean, first first reaction when I crawled up in here was like, damn, I wish I had one. Um, I Perfect. mean, like. It's, <laughs> It's super cushion there. It's super, way more roomy than I thought it was gonna be. Honestly, like you could fit three in there super easily or like two and a dog would be no problem. And and I really like the window configuration, like your selling point of you can just stargaze. Oh yeah. With you got, like if you're you going got, on like, a date with a girl, up there. You say you're taking a girl on, yeah. on a date, first date. Like, let's go stargaze on top of my truck. Yeah, absolutely. Know? Yep. All right, then let's see. I want to see your yeah. five. Let me give a tour of this thing. I want to yeah. see this thing. Oh yeah, take the tour. The uh, <laughs> the old big Agnes copper spur. She's my backpack Ooh. intent. So I think she packs down to like just under five pounds. Rolls up pretty small. Oh bro. Fits, fits too comfortably. Dang. Can't have much gear, but she does the trick. You think you're gonna stay warm enough? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, he oh, says? Yeah. Okay, yeah. cool. Well, what do you think? We're in Montana. We're, we're set up for our first night of camping. Like, what are your thoughts, man? I'm excited to sleep in the rooftop tent, finally. Oh yeah, first time, isn't it? First time. Popping that cherry, huh? Yeah, just don't forget. <laughs> but you're excited? After a long day of driving, was it worth it coming out here? It was definitely worth it. Okay. All right, so actually, I, I know I've just been kind of yabbering so much. And I don't know what I have filmed or what I have captured. Unreal so far. Unreal trip so far. Absolutely gorgeous out here. I mean, we got mountains right here on an awesome lake. This lake is absolutely insane. And then we got, obviously, the tenting and stuff over there. And we even brought a little raft. I don't know if I vlogged that at all, but right there, that little raft, that's what we're going to be fishing on tomorrow in the next few days. I didn't even show you guys how packed this was. I mean, we actually unpacked a lot of stuff right but we got water this is the food that we bought some fishing rods the jackery stoves other stuff over there then we got the deck systems all decked out right now obviously i actually organized things for once which is kind of kind of weird you know and this one just has uh, random appliances tp and all that good stuff but i think we're just gonna kick it we kind of already ate like a late lunches or so so none of us are too hungry we're not really gonna cook plan is tomorrow to wake up and do a little bit of fishing maybe i know i know my man's van dam over there was like oh now that i know there's trout here i'm waking up at like five man and i'm gonna start busting on the cutties i'm just like dope i'm gonna be sleeping bro but i, I might wake up toss the old spinning rod for a little bit and then we're actually taking our little raft over there and we're gonna bomb up on a river and do some fly fishing not sure where i'm gonna end the video so you guys just hold on tight and if a bear comes and tries to eat us during the middle of the night i will vlog it but for right now good night guys i am wiped oh it is the next morning ladies and gentlemen i actually just woke up went outside took a pee um saw some geese and came back up here and grabbed the camera. But this is the uh, the living quarters that we had going on last night. You guys have seen this in videos a bunch before. But this is the old CVT tent. And it's nice and spacious. Three inch mattress foam. Super fire. We did a little bit of stargazing last night. So that was nice. Lindsay slept here. I slept right there. Then I have my power bank over here. Just the jackery stuff. Had some batteries plugged in right there. Had our lights hooked up. Well, you guys know the deal. I slept so good. I mean, Lindsay and I were literally in the car for like, what, 14 hours yesterday? It feels absolutely unreal being out here right now and getting sleep. The air smells just fantastic out here. Oh my goodness. My guy Jared, I don't know where he's at, but he's probably fly fishing. Oh my, absolutely glass out here. And we got mountains in the background, geese swimming around. <laughs> Van Dam fishing. I mean, oh my, this looks so pretty. And I mean, look how clear the water is. I don't even have like an ND filter on or a polarizer or anything. Like this stuff just looks unreal clear. Wow. Top of the morning. How'd you sleep? Real good, real good. Slept uh, with fish dreams, man. Any bites? Nope, saw, saw a couple rising way out, but okay. plenty. Okay. Plenty of drakes popping right here. So. Oh really? Oh yeah, like there's bugs yep. hatching on there? Yep. Mayflies or something? How's it going? Good morning. Good morning. Did you sleep well? Guys, the rooftop tent slept <laughs> so good. Actually? I slept so good. Oh, okay, good. It was well, fire. I'm glad you slept well. 
Mm -hmm. I need coffee though. Big facts, I need coffee as well. Not sure what the plan is here. Uh, we are fishing out of the raft that I was showing you guys over there um, later today. But for right now, might get a little bit of breakfast and Jared might actually teach me how to do a little bit of fly fishing on the dock here just because it's way easier to learn how to fly fish than doing it like on like a tiny boat. So I might kind of like learn here, carry what I learned here over to the river. Stay tuned, this is, this is beautiful. Oh man, uh oh. Oh, this is this is just gonna get gnarly out here. Look at the scenery, folks. My goodness. We have made it to the destination and we're gonna put in here and start doing some fly fishing. Like we're gonna do a basically a seven mile, a seven mile? So we're gonna do a seven and a half mile float down this river, do some fly fishing, might break out the spinning rod. Like it's gonna be absolutely sick. But that is where we're gonna end today's video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. This was more of like a travel vlog with a little bit of camping and actually Jared cracked a nice cutthroat earlier in this episode as well. So you got to experience a little bit of everything. If you guys liked today's video, you're definitely gonna like the next couple videos that we're posting in Montana as you guys can see I mean we just we got the scenery we are gonna get the fish and we're gonna be camping like stay tuned it's gonna get super good so thank you guys for watching remember to check out on X if you guys want to do stuff that we're doing it's the best app to use for any of that stuff so make sure to check out the link in the description below thank you guys so much for watching see you guys next time